In this lesson, we are going to be talking about polynomial multiplication. So here's our first example. So what you would do is you would take this 8x and you would multiply it into the first term and then into the second term. And so what that will do is it will give us 56 because that's 8 times 7 and then x times x is x to the power of 2. Then you're going to say minus 32 because that's what 8 multiplied by negative 4 is and then you're just going to say x. Here's our next one. So here I would use a technique called FOIL to help you remember what to do. So the F stands for first times first. So that would be the first one multiplied by the first one in this bracket. And that's going to give you 5 times 3, which is 15. N times N is N to the power of 2. The next step is O, which stands for outer multiplied by outer. So it's the one on the outside and the one on the outside. So that would give you 10 N. The next step is I which stands for the inner, so the inner one multiplied by the inner one. You see these two are on the inside, whereas these two are on the outside. That's what we mean. And so that's going to give you 18n. And then the last one is L, which stands for um, the last times the last. So it's the last one in this bracket times the last one in this bracket, and that's going to give you 12. Now what you need to do is just quickly look at all of these and see if any of them have the same variable. Well here, these two are the same, 10n and 18n. So you are now going to combine them to become 10 plus 18, which is 28. But you're not going to say n squared or anything like that. We're not multiplying now. Now we're just adding. So we keep it like that. Here's our next example. So let's do FOIL again. So the F stands for the first one in this bracket and the first one in this bracket. You are going to multiply those two together and that's going to be 7p to the power of 2. The next step is O which stands for the outer multiplied by the outer. So it's the outside one. See these two are on the outside. So that's going to give us 28p. The next step is I which stands for the inner. So that's the inside one. So that's this one and this one. You see they are on the inside, whereas these two are on the outside. So if you multiply those two together, you're going to end up with negative 1p. And then the last part is to do L, which stands for the last and the last. So it's the last one in this bracket, and it's the last one in this bracket over here. And so that's going to be negative 4. Now you need to realize that these two are both p's, so you need to put them together. So that's going to be 28 take away 1, which is 27, like that. Ooh, here's a nice one. So now we can't use FOIL because FOIL only works for four things at a time. So what we can do here is I'll, I'll tell you the following. Take this one, and then what you do is you multiply it with this one, with this one, and with this one. Okay, so let's go do that. So that's going to be 7a squared multiplied by a squared which is going to be 7a to the power of 4. Then you're going to multiply the 7a squared with the 6, and that's going to give you negative 42a to the power of 3. And then you're going to multiply it with this one, which is going to give you 35a to the power of 2. Now we have finished with this one. So now we move on to this one over here, and we do the same thing. You're going to multiply it there, you're going to multiply it there, and then you're going to multiply it over there. And so that's the first one is going to be 6a multiplied by a squared. So it's going to be 6a cubed. Then it's going to be the 6a multiplied by the negative 6a. I think I'll highlight it so you can see, which is negative 36a squared. I'm just going to rewrite everything quickly because we're running out of space. Okay, so then I'm going to erase all of this. So the next step now is to multiply the 6a and the 5. So those two over there. And so that's going to give us positive 30. A. Okay, so now we are finished with the 6a, so we can scratch this one out, and now we do the same thing with the negative 2. So we're going to multiply to that one, to that one, and to that one. So we'll start with the negative 2 and the a squared. And so that's going to give you negative 2a squared. Next would be the negative 2 and the negative 6a, which is actually going to become a positive 12a. 
and then it's to multiply negative 2 with 5, which is negative 10. So what you would notice is that we've actually just done nine multiplications because there's three in here and they had to go with every single one of those. So three times three is nine. So if you count all of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, we know we haven't left anything out. So now we're gonna combine everything together or the ones that can go together at least. So I'm gonna highlight all of the A4s, there's only one. Then I'm gonna highlight all the A3s, there's one there, one there. Then the A2s over there, and this one over here. And then it's the A's, so that one's this one over here, and this one over here. And then I'm running out of colors, so I think this one, yeah, there, that's negative 10, so that one's by itself. So that's gonna give us then seven A4. Now we're gonna put all the A3s, so negative 42 plus six. Now I'm gonna use my calculator, so I'm gonna say negative 42 plus six on my calculator, and that's gonna give us negative 36 A3. And then we're gonna do the A2s. So that's gonna be 35, take away 36, which is negative one, take away two, which is negative three A2s. Then we're gonna do the A's, which is 30 plus 12, which is 42. And then we've just got this negative 10. And so that would be our final answer for that one. And here's our last example. So let's do FOIL again. Remember, FOIL works whenever you've got a two by two or two terms multiplied by two terms. So the F stands for the first multiplied by the first. So that would be 4X multiplied by 3X, which is 12X squared. Then the I, I sorry, the O stands for the outer ones. So the outer ones would be that one and that one. And that's gonna give us 28XY. And then it's the inner ones, which is gonna be this one and this one. And so that's gonna be negative nine x, y. Whoops, and then it's the last times the last. So it's the last one in this bracket multiplied by the last one in this bracket. And that's gonna give us negative 21 y to the power of two. Now, we need to put the like terms together. So we're gonna put these two together because they both have the same term. And so we're gonna end up with 12x squared plus 19xy, because 28 minus nine is 19, and then take away 21y to the power of two.